Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. This is God's Remnant meeting at God's Church of Love online, waiting to hear the Word of God. And I hope it blesses you. Well, with the bow and arrow, sometimes you feel like life is giving is putting you in a bunch of setbacks. It's just people are pulling you back. Uh, obstacles are holding you down and pulling you back. The devil is pulling you backwards when you want to make progress. Well, let me tell you something. The further back you pull that bow and arrow, the further back you pull that string, the further that arrow will shoot. So no matter what, no weapon formed against you will prosper, but it will prosper the thing God sent you to do. It will work in your favor. All things work together for good to them that love God and who are called according to his purpose. So even when you feel like you're, you're going, you're making two steps forward and you're put, being pulled back ten, God is still going to accomplish his will in your life because God's giftings and callings are without repentance. Keep that in mind. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Whew. Verse four, for as we have many members in one body and all members have not the same office, what that means in one body, the mouth has a different purpose than the hand. The hand has a different purpose than the eye. The eye has a different purpose than the ear. The ear has a different purpose than the foot. The leg has a different purpose than the stomach and so on. So now picture that as the body of Christ and you and I being members of that body, like the hand, the foot, the eye, the mouth, etc. Having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, where the prophecy, let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith. Or ministry, let us wait on our ministry. That means let us serve in those arenas. Or he that teaches on teaching. Or he that exhorted on exhortation. Or he that giveth, let him do it with simplicity. Let that, he that ruleth with diligence. He that showeth mercy with cheerfulness. Let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil. Cleave to that which is good. Be kindly affectionate one to another with brotherly love and honor preferring one another. Verse 12, I'm skipping around for the sake of time. Rejoicing in hope, be patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer. Now, let me stop there right now. Listen, life happens no matter what our callings, no matter what our giftings are, life happens. But no matter what happens in our life, God will use every episode, every setback, every challenge, every point of friction, every painful moment, every time, every moment of discouragement, every failure, every sin. He will use every single thing to develop us for his purpose. Just like that man, the hammering process, the stripping process, the sanding. I didn't show you all of it because it would have been a 25 minute video. Now, when that piece of wood had to go through all of that, at first you didn't know what it was. And you couldn't figure out why is all that necessary? Remember, I always talk about necessary evils. Because without the sanding, 
without the shaping, without the stripping, without the cutting away, without putting in the groove so you can put in that, that, that feather type thing at the end to guide it, without smoothing it out and rounding it and shaping it so it would be air aerodynamic, without fixing it so that you can apply that piece of metal at the tip and without the hammering process and the shaping and the drilling and the chipping and the everything, it would never become a bow and arrow. It would never become the arrow it was meant to be. And the bow was just sitting there waiting on it to be finished so that the two can fulfill their purpose together. So you have to know whatever God has you hooked up to, whatever God has you joined with, connected to, involved with, there is a purpose for the involvement. The arrow had to fulfill its purpose only by being connected with and cooperative with that arrow, the, uh, the bow. It needed the bow in order to fulfill its purpose. Some of you have people in your lives that drive you up the wall but they may be your bow. And when it seems like they're pulling you backwards and you feel like you're being stripped of your purpose, no. God is using every frustration, every incident that feels like it's pulling you back because one day God's going to say, now, let go. And when that thing is let go and you are catapulted forward, you will go higher and further and you will accomplish way more because you did not get weary in well-doing, but you stayed the course. You kept the faith. You prayed through the tears. You persisted through the fears. You pressed in, you pressed on, you pressed toward that mark of the high calling of God. And because you stuck with it, you fulfilled all that God wanted you to do. But remember, you have to stick through. You can't bail out and jump ship and run, turn tail and run and stick your head in the sand, hoping it all blows over. No. If you really want to be all that God wants you to be, go through. God is with you even when you can't see him, even when you can't feel him, and when you feel like you don't deserve him to be there with you, he's there with you. God is about purpose. He's not about making you comfortable. He's about purpose. And when things start to settle and he strengthens and establishes you, and settles you, and prepares you for the work, guess what? Life will start becoming more and more rewarding, baby. But the beginning stages are the hardest. What was the first thing that piece of wood had to go through? The biggest part of it had to be cut away. That's your flesh. That's your sins, your hang-ups, your insecurities, your fears. Mm. Okay. Let me go to Ephesians chapter 4.